morning everyone just bear with me as I get my destination set here all right Hillman's Marsh so that's where we're gonna be going this morning we're ready to roll I didn't leave quite as early as I normally would have um, it's kind of a cloudier uh, day today so the lights not gonna be um, like insanely bright really harsh lighting but I still think we'll have a pretty good day for for shooting I contemplated going back up to Peely but it being the weekend that place is gonna be ridiculous this morning and I just don't have it in me to put up with uh, big big crowds so I thought of possibly Rondo I think that's going to get a lot of attention too. So um, I've been in the search the last week, half a week to a week for these black neck stilts. Um, they've been in a number of different areas. And I've just been, like the old adage goes, a day late or a dollar short. I just seem to be there at the wrong times or I don't know. Uh, so we are going to go to Hillman's and try our luck up there. Uh, the black belly plovers and all that stuff were in there around this time. So I'm hoping we can get out there and uh, find something that we haven't seen in a long time. Or like I said, maybe even a lifer. And, uh... Three families of Canada geese with their goslings. Two went up further into the area. These two are just kind of, or this one family I should say, is kind of swimming alongside me here. It's a large group up from uh, Quebec. I was talking to a guy out in Peely, and uh, he was talking to them. We're on a 17 day tour up through our area to experience the migration. So. They're back there with their spotting scopes looking around. I never saw nothing in the area, so I opted to get out of here, get a little distance between me and them. But it's starting a very, very, very light rain, so I think I'm gonna stop here real quick, get my rain cover on my lens and that, then we'll continue up the way. There, my cover's on. This is a really simple system here, I'll show you real quick. All right, so. Essentially, this is from JJC. It's just a plastic bag, nothing special, but it does have a cinch on the front, so it just kind of cinches around the front of my lens. Okay. So it just basically cinches around the front of the lens, on the lens hood. That just prevents it from wind or moving and creeping up and exposing your lens. I'm not overly concerned about the body of the camera. Um, it's not a heavy, heavy rain. If it does pick up, then what I'll do is I'll take my external mic off and then I'll slip it over the body. Canon 90D is rated as weatherproof. Now, to the extent of the weatherproof protection, I'm not willing to test it. <laughs> but for now... fish running right at me. Thank you. 
Then I saw something up the trail here. I didn't know what it was. I thought originally it was a skunk. So I saw flashes of white. I thought maybe it was a skunk. A skunk out doing whatever. So I set the tripod down, got my binoculars out. It turned out it was a mink carrying a fish. I got some shots, got some video. He dropped the fish he had and then he went down to the bank. And I just sat there. I figured maybe he'll come out. Well, he come out far closer. Picked up another dead fish and started running right at me. He got to about eight feet from me, dropped the fish, and then ran down to the bank. I'm just sitting here to see if he pops up again. I think he might be gone. That was nuts. I got to the point where I was getting, I'm not going to lie, I was pretty nervous. He's getting way too close for comfort. All right, we're done at Hillman's. We are going to work our way home. I got to uh, stop and get a I'm in dire need of an old change. I gotta stop and get that done real quick. Then we're gonna work our way home. I think I'm going to stop by the public bush in that one field. That was a really good uh, spot for me last year for the bobble link. I've been seeing uh, reports of them showing up in pretty good numbers, so I'm gonna stop there real quick. It's a spot I can just pull off the side of the road, Whoa, sit in the truck and just kind of watch the area. It was a really hot, really, really good hot spot last year for them. And like I said, I see them in other areas not too far from me that they're starting to show up in pretty, uh, pretty significant numbers. So I'm hoping that, maybe not today, maybe they're there, that'd be great. But I'm hoping that uh, eventually here in the next coming days they'll show up. In terms of Hellman's, extremely slow. Really surprised at how slow it was. Uh, we did get some captures, but nowhere near the activity that's normally in here, particularly this time of year during a migration like this. Bobbling spot is hot again. Oh my god, guys, I am beyond thrilled. I was hoping they'd be there, but I was not expecting them to be there. I thought it might have been early. But I went to that spot that they were in there last year, and I just stumbled across this by absolute sheer coincidence. Um, and unfortunately, last year, by the time I found them in there, they weren't there long. I'd gone there a couple times in the last couple weeks. Um, I hadn't seen any reports close to home here that they were bad, but you never know. This morning, however, I got over there. I, I, I usually I'll turn around and I'll park just off the road in the grassy area, and I'll just I'll just sit and I'll listen to them. Generally, you'll hear them before you see them, and they were singing the second I turned the truck off. I heard some, so. I glassed the area of the field and I saw a couple quite a ways out. So, yeah, I just got out of the truck and set the tripod up and I waited. And within about five or ten minutes, two beautiful males come in. That is awesome. I have a couple people that I want to uh, take to this spot. I don't know if they've ever gotten them before, so I'm going to race a couple friends with this spot and hopefully get them out there soon and let them. Uh, let them get some shots of this. That was, oh my God, I'm beyond thrilled. Wow, it is getting hot out. Well, we are gonna head home, we got plans today, but I am extremely happy. Two species I've been anxiously waiting um, in their arrivals have uh, arrived. First, the Baba Link. I got those uh, in my other spot, and I just checked out here, and I've got a few um, indigo buntings. So I'm really happy. Also, some warbling vireo. 
in and around, but I'm not too concerned about the Vireo right now. Pretty exciting for, you know, a little bit of time in the field. We got some pretty decent, uh, pretty decent results, so I'm happy with that. I'm going to slowly creep my way along up here and see if there's anything in this little ditch area, flooded ditch, and then, uh, yeah, then we'll head home and get ready for our Mother's Day dinner at my mother-in-law's place.